how you doing everybody you're watching vec and we finally finally have the f1 mclaren drift build video it took me quite a while to nail this down because it's probably the most impossible car to drift i thought the db11 was hard this one's even harder but i think i managed to build something that might work for most of you if not all of you so before we do this i'm standing right in front of one of the challenges right now i already did it so i can't really show you that it works without hitting something and, not, and getting that notification that says uh, challenge failed but i'm gonna try to do it as best as i can without hitting anything and i'm gonna show you the second challenge that we have to do in the freeway and hopefully this will get you your challenges done so let's get a drifting so all right so we have here the first challenge let's see how i do here Ooh, don't hit anything. I haven't heard anything break, so I think we're good. Right, freaking out. Don't hit any cars. Ooh, ooh, almost nailed that. All right, 28. I wonder if I could do a little bit better. I want to get three stars for this. All right, let's go. Don't hit anything. Don't hit a pole. Ooh, don't hit that. Don't hit a car. Don't hit the cars. Don't hit anything. Okay, so pretty consistent. 27k and a 28k. Oh, sorry, sir. 27k and a 28k. Let's get to the build itself. Let's go to my garage real quick. All right, so the first thing I want you to ignore, and I mean ignore, is the 294 vehicle score. Do not dwell on this. Please do not dwell on this. I know it's very, very low, but vehicle score when it comes to a drift build means absolutely focus. Literally freaking nothing. If you have a vehicle that's rated at 400 versus a vehicle that's rated at 294 like this one, it's not going to make a difference. In fact, in a car build like this one, it was actually worse to go higher in the rating than to stay down low on that 294. So it took a lot of testing to actually nail this build. So let's break it down. So first, the engine. What engine am I using? The 2.0 4 liter hybrid engine. It's mostly stock parts. When you buy it, you go for pro. The only thing I changed was the supercharger. I went for the roots instead of a screw because from what I remember, you can't actually change into a screw supercharger, but the roots gives you a nice little boost at the very low end. And that's actually something that we're looking for. You can potentially go for something like a twin turbo, but again, Keep it with a low end twin turbo rather than a high one because that is going to mess you up a little bit. As far as parts go, we're going with a speed cross suspension. I was testing a lot of the other suspensions and the speed cross was the one that worked the best for me. Brakes, low brakes. Um, unfortunately, I can't do anything lower than a super brake. I wish I could. That would have been fantastic, but alas, we can't. I went with the super drift tires. They're a little bit more slippery. But if you're finding that you can't control it and it slips too much for you, which I kind of highly doubt, and I'll explain why, you can go for elite drift tires if you so choose. However, I found that using a lot of these tires didn't really make a difference so far. The super drift tires for me were the ones that I got the most slippage from. All the other tires, it gripped too much and it felt like I was using like elite drag tires and it just kept wanting to go straight i would turn and then it just kept wanting to go straight it was super difficult to really drift this car and it still very much is even with this build drivetrain of course clutch pro go for the lowest every single time speed the speed it was actually a kind of a different change for me you can go for the five speed if you like I go for the six speed because I find that there's just too much speed going on in the uh, lower gear, especially two, it's a little too wide, a little too, too wide. But for this one, go with what works for you specifically and 
give it a test. This is probably one of the only things you're gonna have to test out besides those tires. And the differential, speed cross differential, it's actually pretty standard. Um, I wanted to go lower with this, but it wasn't working for me. Like I said, it kept wanting to go straight. It was mind boggling to me. Like this car is probably the worst, and I mean the worst drift car I've ever driven. And I thought the DB11 was freaking bad. Like I thought, okay, it can't get any worse than this. Yeah, my thoughts were completely shattered. The F1 is probably the worst. But now that I've broken down the build, let's go for that second challenge and let's see how well we can nail that specific challenge. Ooh, hit the horn right there. Alright, three stars. I wonder if I can get a pretty consistent score with this. Up the hill. So a little bit lower, 15. Let's do one more. Let's do one more downhill. Ooh, hit the hit the side wall, but another three stars. Not as good as the first one, but three stars, two stars, three stars. This will work for you. It's worked for me. Not exactly what I used initially, but this does work a lot better than when I did it the first time. So it should work. Any other questions, feel free to comment. If you want more content just like this or any builds, hit me up in the comments subscribe and keep a lookout for those builds thank you for watching take care of yourselves and of each other and have a good one